In 11.1 there are some notable improvements to baking and working with surface normals. The advanced material now has a used polygon area smoothing option which weights the contribution of a polygon to the normal average based on its area. This fixes perceived smoothing errors where large faces are connected to small faces. Vertex illumination baking has two new options that control what it bakes and where it stores the result. The select render output type will bake whatever render output you have selected in the shader tree and the output option defines which channels you want to output, either RGB, RGBA, or even individual red, green, blue and alpha channels, allowing you to pack different effects into each channel. 11.1 .1 now supports object space normal map baking. This is useful when creating static, non-deforming objects for real-time applications. By setting the texture effect to object normals during the baking process, the object normals will be calculated in absolute terms in object space. This can be useful because object space normal maps are faster when rendered in game engines. And finally, to speed up the process of baking certain mesh features, you can now run a command from the item contextual menu that will bake either occlusion, illumination, normal, displacement or texture effect based on the options that you define in the dialog. The resulting baked image will be automatically saved and loaded into the shader tree, significantly reducing the number of manual steps involved.